Look for your main water shutoff. Once you find it, look up where the shutoff valve is to the sprinklers outside. Make sure that's off. And then go outside. And you want to turn off the one that comes up from the house. So turn that one off. And then turn this one. Make sure this one's on. And then just find some air compressor adapter at the hardware store. You just ask for an air compressor adapter and they'll, they'll point you to it. This one's like a quarter inch, I think. And then all you do is you just have to get an air compressor. They're about a hundred bucks or maybe 150 bucks or so at the most. Um, plug it in, turn it on. Between uh, 60 and 80 PSI is good. And then just go to your control panel and just go manual through each one of your zones. Just set it to manual and then you can just hit next or you can go just set each zone for five, 10 minutes or so. You can just watch them until the, the air is coming through. Um, you know, if you can try to get, I try to get all of the water out, but I've heard 90% is fine. So just, I'm on zone 11 here. I just hit next and then I go to zone 12. I'm just on manual mode and you can set it for however you want. But I just went to manual mode and just kept on hitting next until all the water was out. Not much to say here. You can just see the water coming out. And here's a shot of the uh, 60 PSI on the air compressor. And then here's a shot of uh, just air coming out. So after everything's done, just go back to your system. And there's one little piece right here. I just have to take that out because there's a little bit of water in here. So I just unscrew this. And let the water out. I try to get out all the water. And that's about it. You can wrap these pipes too with uh, insulation. Um, that's probably a good idea. So that water's out. And then I'm going to put that screw back on. And go back down to the basement because there's a little bit of water from uh, from that down to your uh, shutoff valve. So I put a bucket up here. It's kind of the craziest setup. Um, but there's a, a little bolt up there. So I just got to take that bolt off. And... Um, you know, hopefully you, you got a unfinished basement where this, I mean, if your bolt's way up here like mine, but you know, I kind of let it spray out everywhere. So once it's, uh, I try to catch it with a bucket here, but there's uh there's quite a bit of water. But once I take the bolt off, the water kind of squirt uh, over the bucket, but I kind of lifted the bucket and it's, it's less than five gallons. So, and that's pretty much it. Just trying to get the water all out of the system. And just about done here. So the water's out. I'll screw that back on. You can get some uh, plumber's tape next year when you screw these pieces back on. Put plumber's tape around the pieces. And then when you go outside, just you know, turn the valves at 45 degrees. And you should be all set. And then the last thing you want to do is, you know, go back to your main control panel and turn it off. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out the links.